Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I hope we have an exciting video. We're going to be visiting and grand opening the mall at the Taipei Dome. This mall will eventually be the largest mall in Southeast Asia and Taiwan and nearly 140,000 square meters. It's located at the Taipei Dome, which is home of the Taipei Metro baseball team. So let's start walking. This is the first time I'm checking out the dome at all. I ride my bike past here for the last few years. There's been a lot of construction to get it ready, but it's very convenient to the MRT station. It's almost a direct access. So make sure you come check it out when you're here. Let's keep walking. By the way, this walking video has a twist. I'm experimenting with a more stylized approach. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy this new walking video style. So far, it's the quietest grand opening. We haven't seen any activities or any way to figure out how to get into it, but we'll keep looking. The Taipei Dome, also known as the Far Glory Dome, is a multi-purpose stadium in Taipei Xining District. Developed in the early 2000s, this project faced numerous delays before its grand opening in December 2023. Primarily, the Taipei Dome hosts baseball games, making it Taiwan's first indoor baseball stadium with a seating capacity of around 40,000 people. Designed to meet major league standards, it features the largest LED screen in Taiwan and includes 34 luxury suites. But that's not all. The dome is part of a massive complex that includes over 200,000 square meters of themed retail space, offices, apartments, and even a hotel. Located on the historic site of the old Songshan Tobacco Factory, now known as the Songshan Cultural and Creative Park, it seamlessly blends modern development with historical preservation. Within this space, you'll find a large shopping mall, various stores, restaurants, and a state-of-the-art movie theater. The Dome isn't just a sports venue, it's a cultural and leisure destination. The completed Dome represents a significant development in Taiwan's sports and entertainment infrastructure. As a landmark project, it aims to boost tourism, provide a world-class venue for sports and cultural events, and revitalize the surrounding area. All right, guys, we just found out the only opening today was a handful of restaurants. The mall area is still not ready to open and it's behind schedule. Fortunately, we are right next door to the Sung Run Cultural and Creative Park. I tried to do a video here last week, but I got rained out. So we're gonna go walk that facility. Let's go. Welcome to the Sunshan Cultural and Creative Park, a hidden gem in Taipei Xining District where history and creativity collide. The park story begins in 1937, when it was established as the Songshan Tobacco Plant during the Japanese colonial period. This was the largest tobacco processing facility in Taiwan, playing a crucial role in both Japanese and Taiwanese economy by supplying cigarettes to soldiers and civilians alike.
Beyond its industrial function, the factory also provided comprehensive services for its workers, including housing, childcare, and medical care, creating a self-sustaining community within the factory grounds. However, in 1998, the tobacco factory ceased operations due to changes in urban planning and a decline in tobacco demand. By 2001, the Taipei government had designated the site as Taipei's 99th historic site and began its transformation. A decade later, in 2011, it was redeveloped into the Songshan Cultural and Creative Park, blending its historical essence with a new creative vision. The Creative Park features a lively retail area showcasing products from local Taiwanese artists and designers. Pop-up shops, art galleries, and design stores offer unique merchandise for visitors to purchase. Guests can relax with expertly brewed coffee at Kama Coffee Roasters located in the repurposed boiler room. The Taiwan Design Museum provides an opportunity to explore Taiwan's design history while the former machine repair plant has been transformed into a distinctive dining experience. Additionally, the rejuvenated ecology pond allows visitors to immerse themselves in nature's beauty. The Cultural and Creative Park is a prime example of how historical industrial sites can be repurposed into thriving cultural hubs, blending heritage with modern creativity to benefit both the local community and visitors from around the world. Let's keep exploring this wonderful destination to see what other surprises it has in store for us. The adventure is just getting started. Stay tuned to the end and let us know your favorite highlights in the comments below.
All right, guys, that brings us to the end of the tour. Not much to see at the mall opening, but a lot to see here at the Songshan Cultural and Creative Park. If you like this type of videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really helps the channel grow. Till next time, Daisao Zai Jan. See you guys on the next video.